what is up youtube thanks so much for clicking this is four leaf cards here doing another challenge day for wicked discounts christmas challenge today is another tough one it's the uh it's a it's a top 10 countdown of, of holiday songs so if you haven't checked out wicked discounts please go check uh check them out and uh, also check out all the other folks that are doing some really awesome videos for this uh, christmas challenge um, they should all be linked in at hashtag wicked family Christmas. So, uh, this was an impossible task. Again, it's kind of like f top five holiday movies countdown, man. All right. I've got some note cards here. Let's go over them. I've got some honorable mentions. I mean, there's just so many good songs. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you need to make a playlist and let it just run all day long through the holiday season. So, I didn't want to leave some of these out. I mean, you, if you're looking to populate a playlist, you got to have some of these on here. So you got uh, Rudolph. I think Harry Connick Jr. does a really good job. Uh, Gene Autry, I think, was the original. But uh, you got to check out that uh, Harry Connick Jr. one. Let It Snow by Sinatra. I mean, there's some other guys that do it too, but that's a classic. I tend to lean toward the classic side. But uh, Santa Baby, that's an Eartha Kit. A lot of you might not know that. I think Madonna's got a uh, version that we all kind of know. Blue Christmas by Elvis. Man, I can't believe that one didn't get into my top 10. But I tended to have a little bit more upbeat on my top 10. I, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of went to the uh, jazzier type songs, I guess. Holly Jolly Christmas by Burl Ives. Most of you might not know this either. But I think Burl Ives was a, uh, a Jewish man. But he wrote quite a few Christmas songs. Pretty interesting fact. Uh, Last Christmas, I think that came out in 1984. I had to have some good 80s stuff in there by Wham! Uh, so we all kind of know that one. Santa Claus is Coming to Town by Bruce Springsteen. I st Man, I struggled. I wanted that one in my top 10. Just didn't get there. But that's a, a must-have. And All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey. That's a classic one. Just didn't make my top 10 for some reason. Silent Night by Josh Groban. That one will make you get the chills, I think. And then uh, some of this newer stuff by Pentatonix. Uh, they're kind of an acapella group. Um, I kind of like acapella stuff. Just didn't make it into <clears throat> my top 10. But uh, there's a bunch of stuff by Pentatonix that's pretty cool um, for the newer stuff. All right, here we go. You ready? Top 10. So 10, White Christmas. Ah, it's a tie. I kind of put a tie. It's Bing Crosby, okay? White Christmas. I'll be home for Christmas. Uh, 1942, 1943. This is kind of a World War II. I'll be home for Christmas. World War II uh, song there. A lot of the troops trying to come home. Um, so pretty classic uh, Christmas songs. The Christmas song. Now, a lot of you might not know what that song is, but that's the Chestnuts Roasting Over an Open Fire song by Nat King Cole. He's actually got a really nice Christmas album that's probably uh, a must-have. There's uh, Gene Autry with Frosty. Okay, that's a good one, classic one. Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree, Brenda Lee. I think she was fairly young when she wrote that, almost like a Taylor Swift of her time, uh, writing songs early, early. Feliz Navidad, not really a um, a lyrical kind of thing, but man, is that song catchy. I, I kept debating whether or not I should put it in there, but the catchiness of it just puts it up higher in the list. It's just, I mean, everybody knows the song. The kids can sing it because it's only got a few words. So again, not a not a lyrical masterpiece by any means, but just so simple. And the meaning is just so simple. That's that's really what you want to convey, right? Number five, it's the most wonderful time of the year. That's Andy Williams' version there. There's some other folks that sing it too. You can always insert your favorite artist um, on those. I'm just kind of putting more of the classic uh, ones. Sleigh Ride by Johnny Mathis. That is a classic. And uh, Winter Wonderland by Dean Martin. So I get some old time guys in here. Like I said, I'm, I'm going for the, the classics. Here's number two. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And I'd say you can get this either in the Bing Crosby version or Michael Buble. I love Michael Buble. So I love Bing on the, uh, on the classic and Buble on kind of a more modern take on it, a little more upbeat. Uh, I've got all of them in the playlist. 
Number one, I I couldn't just pick one. So I call them the bells. You've got silver bells and jingle bells. And I could pick either Bing or Buble on either of these. The bells. Just some real classic. Everybody knows jingle bells. Just everybody knows it. So there's the top one. And I'm going to throw this guy's at you. If you're looking for some albums, you just want to buy one or two or whatever. Uh, White Christmas by Bing Crosby is an awesome album. And uh, just called Christmas for Michael Buble. Those are some of my favorite guys. Just real classy. Um, Bing Crosby's got that old 40s kind of sound to him. Buble's got it jazzed up a little bit for the 2000s, I guess. Um, so those uh, those are some suggestions there. So um, populate up your holiday uh, playlist and get that music playing. Get in the holiday season the feelings of joy and happiness and spread it around. Mickey and Minnie, let's take it out here. If you guys are opening anything, best of luck to you guys. Don't forget to collect to connect. It's the people in the hobby that are the best part. And have an awesome day.